Well, 22 inches of snow, but we got a little open water here, and we got this fat muskrat. So, the kind of bears, underwater kind of bears keep on working no matter what if they can usually they do so here's your rat we'll see how many more we get maybe we'll get lucky and get a beaver or an otter or something because these sets keep on working no matter what that's right boys head out to the main river it's a nice bright sunny day out here but it's uh one of the little fellow with short legs is kind of tough walking swamp right out Well, look at this mess. The ducks and geese, I imagine, are pissed. We got 22 inches of snow a couple days ago. And if you're a muskrat trapper, you're not too happy either. Things are freezing up. It's 10 or 15 degrees at night. I mean, come on. It's it's uh, three or four days before April 1st trout season here. <laughs> My buddy said, there goes a blue heron. My buddy said he saw a woodcock yesterday. Can you imagine what a woodcock who's down this started coming back? There goes some teal. How do you like this teal? Is this New Mexico? No, it's not. There goes another one right there. Is a teal. That's a that little fellow was a teal. Um, imagine what they think. I imagine it's just like me. Just like what I think. This sucks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we had no snow. 22 inches of snow. We had very little ice fishing this year. And we had not enough snow for our local uh, snowmobilers to use the trails. Not enough. Never had it enough. And now it's too late. They close the trails now because they rip them up. But 22 inches here. It's terrible. This is terrible. This is upstate New York for you nowadays. Yeah, I know, guys, it's rough. Look at this setback. I'm looking for some tracks. I saw some fisher tracks down the road, but they were a little too far away from me, but see what we find here. But this was this big setback was all open water um, a week ago. And now it's all froze over. 22 inches of snow everywhere. So much I can't even walk through it. I got a hundred traps out. Luckily, they're all kind of bears. They're all killer traps. So if they sit underneath a snowbank, it's just a dead uh, beaver or something like that underneath a snowbank. So it's not a big deal. It's not. There's no animals that are going to be thrashing around or anything. They're either dead and on the bottom of it or nothing. But. Regardless, this really slows a guy up. <laughs> the day it snowed, I bought there goes some mallards. I bought some ice or some summer fishing stuff. I got thinking ice fishing now. Uh, and I got a hundred rat traps out. Freaking great.